Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this edition of the Writers Group Exchange. We're very pleased to um, have you join us for our presentation this morning. But before I turn the mic over to our presenter, uh, let me uh, draw your attention to a few upcoming activities. Right now, we are running a mini series. The Working Class Think Tank is running a mini series on the fight against fascism. The first session was held on Saturday, uh, September 28th. Uh, 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 but if you're interested, uh, you can still register, receive and receive the recording uh, for the first session. The next three sessions will occur uh, one Tuesday evening beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern and then Thursday evening again, 7 p.m. Eastern. And then the last session will take place on Saturday, October 5th. Uh, starting at 11 a.m. Eastern. So if you're interested, please do register and uh, participate in this mini MINI series on uh, the f dialectics strategy and the fight against uh, fascism. Also, we'd like to uh, let you know that in the spring, we plan to run special sessions of the uh, writers group exchange, we will uh, we are talking with a fiction writer to have him do a series of uh, classes, uh, helping to share the techniques of writing uh, fiction. And we're also talking to John Wojcik, who is the editor, the editor in chief, I believe his title is of uh, People's World to do a five session series on journalist on uh, sharing journalistic writing skills. So we hope you will uh, be encouraged to uh, join us for those uh, activity, those upcoming activities in uh, uh, we hope you'll mark uh, your calendar when the dates are issued and plan to join us. Uh, lastly, I should uh, uh, let you know that uh, the um, Working Class Project will uh, help to sponsor an online series of uh, classes, uh, Marxist classes, uh, during the months of January and February. Uh, it will be a 10 or more class series uh, trying to uh, help us all deepen our understanding of uh, uh, Marxist theory and the application of Marxist theory mm -hmm. to the world uh, we live in which we live today. So I've delayed uh, long enough. I'm very pleased to be mm -hmm. able to introduce you to uh, someone I've known in meetings for decades, uh, and I'm very pleased to be able to participate with you in hearing his story of how he transitioned from a uh, veteran uh, labor and community activist to this prolific uh, writer, this prolific working class writer. So with no further delay, I turn the mic over to David Trujillo. Welcome, David. Well, thank you, Dee, and uh, everyone else who's on this web webinar. Uh, first of all, let me just say that uh, I think this um, uh, writer's group exchange is uh, uh, very important and uh, and I'm sure it uh, it has uh, uh, provided some very informative information, <clears throat> and uh, 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 and I know there's a, l a lot of hard work behind it. Uh, Dee and some of the other people have been very good at at uh, <clears throat> uh, putting this webinar on, and uh, and I appreciate it, and I'm sure a lot of people do <clears throat> uh, appreciate the the work. Um, uh, we need to continue this this type of uh, webinars <clears throat> and. Uh, Particularly on the on the creative side, uh, uh, and uh, hopefully uh, uh, there'll be enough uh, individuals who maybe might want to talk about developing a uh, uh, 
a, a cultural type of commission or a, a, um, a cultural <clears throat> committee, because there's a lot of talented uh, comrades out there throughout the country that are musicians and writers and playwrights and poets, and uh, <clears throat> we need to maybe uh, organize uh, uh, that whole sector and uh, and uh, provide uh, uh, their talent and their uh, expertise uh, uh, to much more broader audience. <clears throat> But again, I want to thank uh, Dee and the Writers Exchange Group and uh, and this whole webinar session that that's being developed. <clears throat> um, uh, so uh, <clears throat> with that, um, let me just uh, um, uh, uh, sort of piggyback on what Dee was saying in terms of my particular background. Uh, uh, I uh, uh, I grew up uh, uh, in the San Joaquin Valley uh, in Fresno. I, uh, uh, for those who, do, who are not familiar with uh, California, the San Joaquin Valley is in the center of the state between uh, San Francisco and Los Angeles. It's a, a farm working uh, uh, area. Uh, and uh, uh, my parents and myself, we grew up, uh, I grew up as a, a farm worker picking grapes and uh, oranges and uh, strawberries and all kinds of different uh, uh, fruits and vegetables. <laughs> that that was my background in terms of growing up. Uh, later, my mom became a a, a, a maid, and uh, uh, and then uh, um, I was able to uh, uh, go on to college, and uh, uh, and that started a whole new a uh, whole new uh, 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 perspective for me. <clears throat> um, but that's 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 how I grew up, <clears throat> and. Uh, that laid the foundation for me as a working class uh, 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 person <clears throat> with a working class background and a working class family, <clears throat> and that 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 continued with me throughout uh, throughout uh, my career, even even today as I write uh, my uh, my poetry and write my plays. It's always based on a working class perspective, <clears throat> uh, and um, uh, and uh, like I said, I continue that uh, <clears throat> that that today. Um, I um, I uh, got my uh, beginnings in the labor movement, uh, like many of uh, the individuals of my particular uh, generation <clears throat> with the United Farm Workers. Um, I uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, they had what they called the Great Boycott uh, back in the 70s, <clears throat> and I was a, a young um, activist. <clears throat> Uh, Chicano activists, and uh, uh, they were uh, closing down some of the supermarkets, and uh, I participated in one of the particular uh, strikes, and uh, uh, farm workers sort of sent me out to a supermarket, dropped me off there, gave me the literature, and said, close it down, <clears throat> and uh, uh, that was my introduction into uh, uh, the labor movement. Uh, uh, I was quite for six, I was quite successful. I did uh, empty out the parking lot, and I did uh, 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 empty out the store. And I was able to uh, talk with management about uh, uh, the grapes uh, <clears throat> that uh, removed the grapes that didn't have the uh, the farm worker label on it. But that's how I got into uh, <clears throat> the labor movement and uh, uh, went on to college. And after that, I <clears throat> after I graduated, I. Uh, I entered the the, uh, the labor movement and uh, spent the rest of my career uh, uh, in in labor with the uh, SEIU um, and asked me, <clears throat> uh, and that's uh, that's been my my background until I retired uh, six seven years ago, <clears throat> and uh, that led me into uh, uh, this particular career that I'm I'm on now right. I'm I'm on art right now. <laughs> That's uh, uh, writing. Um, when I was working, I didn't have a lot of time to uh, to do uh, uh, writings. I I did do some writing in college. I did do some plays, but uh, I didn't have uh, a lot of time to focus on and and creating um, uh, these particular uh, creative projects. Uh, again, it wasn't until I retired that I was able to really focus and spend time on, I mean, literally spend a lot of time uh, 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 writing, uh, sitting down and, and spending hours of writing. And if it, I'm doing a play, it's 
it's uh, writing uh, the draft and doing the rewrite and another rewrite and doing a, a following director's notes and rewriting again. It's all about rewriting on, on, a, on a play. And that takes a lot of time. Uh, on the average, uh, it takes me maybe two years to to develop a play from its inception of the draft all the way to the actual production of the play. Uh, I've written uh, uh, three plays now and produced uh, four plays, and I'll talk about that late, later on. Uh, I've uh, been able to, uh, I've been, uh, my writings have been featured in a couple of anthologies. I have a book out on, on uh, just my own poetry. And I also have a crime fiction book that uh, that I've that I've written uh, called uh, Bullet On, uh, um, and that's that's a pretty uh, uh, interesting uh, aspect of writing because it's crime fiction and uh, it really uh, takes you on on a different uh, uh, um, area in terms of your mind thinking about uh, uh, the, the character development and what's taking place. Uh, but yeah, that that's that's my my background in uh, 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 very very briefly. <clears throat> uh, and uh, um, I don't know if D has a particular question right now, or uh, I can get into more about my specific uh, writings. Um, I would like to ask a question, if I may, David. How did you learn the skill of of writing? Um, you mentioned you went to college, um, and mm -hmm. and where did you get the courage? Well, I I uh, I like I said I've I always uh, uh, did some type of writing, uh, not just in terms of you know your 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 traditional academic work that you do in school, but I always uh, did. Uh, uh, outside creative writing. Uh, when I was in college, I did participate in what we call a, a, a small uh, a theater. It was a, a theater group that uh, <clears throat> that was based on uh, the uh, uh, Luis Valdez uh, 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 a concept. Uh, um, and uh, um, uh, I did uh, uh, some plays there and uh, uh, did some, some writing, uh, but what really caught my imagination with the writing and the creative projects is, is again just just my own particular background, uh, what I experienced uh, in in my particular uh, 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 lifespan, uh, particularly working in the fields and uh, uh, seeing the type of oppressions that 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 took place and uh, working with uh, uh, various types of of, of uh, 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 workers from the low wage workers to the high end workers, uh, and um, <clears throat> and that uh, uh, seeing that uh, uh, gave me the uh, the uh, the courage to sit down and write about it. I hadn't seen or heard uh, a lot about uh, uh, working class issues and or uh, uh, oppression that 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 they felt. <clears throat> Or feel uh, uh, so. It's actually the my working class background that has allowed me to uh, create some of my my work. Uh, uh, all my particular writings are based on 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 what I've experienced, have seen uh, in terms of um, of uh, working class issues. Uh, all my plays are are based on on. On very solid working class issues and working class people, uh, and that's how that's essentially it. Uh, it was it just it's just my my uh, working class background that that has allowed me to to uh, produce some of my my uh, projects and continues to uh, push me forward. Okay, a follow up question. Um, you indicate that you you wrote uh, three plays. I think you said. And you produced four. You've produced four plays. So can you tell us? Can you give us like a synopsis of uh, each of those plays? What the yeah plot plot line is? Sure. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, my first play that I that I was able to uh, um, write 
produce and finance on my own, and, and I produce, write, and finance all my own plays, uh, uh, was called Many May Not Return. It was a play that we premiered here in Hollywood, in Long Beach, and we also took it to Chicago. Uh, uh, we premiered it at the Prop Theater in Chicago. Uh, this particular play was important because it was, uh, it was about uh, 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 a family uh, and the effects of war uh, on this particular family, but it's uh, the effects of of the war on generations of uh, uh, in the family. So you had a, a World War II veteran uh, um, or a, a, a mother who had her children were in World War II uh, uh, in Korea. And this particular play deals with uh, the, the, the current time of 1970 Vietnam War. So it was, uh, it was a very uh, a successful uh, anti-war play and uh, 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 it, it, uh, it was uh, uh, got great reviews. Uh, we had music in that particular play. Uh, comrades uh, Isma Bada was was part of this particular play. Uh, he he was a musician. I had music in the play, and he he sang some of the uh, the songs in the play, and was also part one of the characters in the play. Uh, uh, Another uh, a comrade was uh, Teddy Gonzalez. Uh, she was uh, uh, um, one of the uh, co-producers, and um, uh, she helped us out a, a lot in Chicago, <clears throat> getting the word out uh, uh, on that particular play. Uh, 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 what we, what we learned in this in that play is that uh, when we went to Chicago, we spent four weeks in Chicago just doing promotion on the play. <clears throat> And uh, we could have used a lot more time, but uh, that that's all we could uh, afford, and that's all the time we had. <clears throat> uh, but that was a very solid an anti-war play. <clears throat> uh, then the uh, uh, the next play that that uh, I, I, I wrote, uh, produced, and financed was uh, Legacy of a Garage Band, <clears throat> and this was a a, a play that. Uh, uh, attracted a lot of young people. Uh, uh, we always uh, want to uh, attract new audiences to our play, especially those those uh, individuals that don't normally go to place. Uh, um, uh, and uh, uh, we try to do outreach into those areas, into those communities. Legacy of a Garage Band was about uh, uh, a, uh, a band, <clears throat> uh, a rock band that uh, has to deal with internal conflicts of uh, uh, of drugs and uh, mental health uh, issues, uh, and uh, I use the the ban as a, a, a symbol of society uh, as a whole. <clears throat> and uh, uh, what was positive about this particular play is that uh, you understand that it takes a you know the term it takes a village to solve problems. <clears throat> uh, you know, if, if you try to do it individually. Uh, it, it, it's very difficult uh, if you try to let uh, uh, um, uh, government kind of solve the problems. It, it uh, it's difficult, but if you work together <clears throat> and you you see the problems, uh, uh, it it uh, it uh, it uh, goes a long way in in trying to resolve those problems. And again, this was an issue. This was a play that dealt very heavily with uh, mental health issues uh, uh, in the ban and uh, and the uses of drugs uh, in this particular uh, uh, ban. <clears throat> and uh, um, we premiered that here in, in, in Los Angeles also in the, in, 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 at the Long Beach Playhouse. <clears throat> uh, uh, the third play that I uh, uh, wrote and produced and financed was uh, just, just recently, we just closed out this show uh, what a couple weeks ago or a week ago, it was called um, uh, "Filthy Laundry." <clears throat> and uh, this particular play I wrote because uh, uh, um, I had a, uh, when I was a 17 year old uh, a youth uh, uh, in high school, uh, uh, I got uh, a, uh, a, uh, a summer job working in a, in a uh, in an industrial linen facility. I was a gopher. I ran around all the shop. I loaded the washers and the dryers and unloaded the trucks. And but I was able to go all around the shop and 
and listened to what the women were saying and uh, 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 seeing what was the, the exchange between the, the, the workers and the boss and uh, most of the, the individuals in this particular uh, uh, linen, industrial linen plant were, were women, minority women, uh, uh, African-American and Filipinos, uh, 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 Latinas, uh, Chinese uh, workers. <clears throat> and uh, and uh, there was a very uh, hostile uh, boss. Uh, so I was able to, to uh, 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 view all what was taking place <clears throat> And the women, uh, because I had a high school education, uh, uh, selected me as the individual to always deal with the boss. They always had me go deal with the boss because, again, I had a, a, a you know, I was high school edu education, and uh, uh, although I was just a, what a sophomore in high school, and uh, <clears throat> and I was a male, right? So they uh, always had me deal with the boss. Uh, and uh, to make a, a long story uh, a sh a short, I ended up uh, getting a getting uh, uh, fired uh, uh, at this job because uh, the boss uh, sent me in, in to unload a, uh, a a truck <clears throat> and there was a lot of toxic material in this this truck <clears throat> and uh, he sent me in there without any protective uh, gear uh, <clears throat> and it was getting all over my body and I read the bags that said toxic material and uh, I confronted the boss and of course uh, we didn't have a union at that shop and anti-fire, he fired me. So that was the the emphasis of the uh, uh, filthy laundry. Uh, uh, again, we just we we just premiered that here uh, uh, last month or this month or this month uh, on Labor Day, uh, and uh, it's a a a, a very strong um, union play. It's about union organizing. It's about women organizing in the plant, and. Uh, 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 we got very solid union support uh, for this play. I actually had the uh, laundry workers union members uh, come see the play. Uh, we had the LA County Federation of Labor Center representatives see the play. Uh, the teachers came out. <clears throat> so we had a very successful, uh, 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 what I call union play. You just don't see too many plays uh, out there that deal with uh, organizing and deal with unions and uh, uh, this was one of those plays. So again, that was a that was a, a, a very strong uh, union play with some very strong women characters, and that was very difficult to write. I can get into that later on, but uh, you know, I had I did have to sit down and, and write about uh, the, the dialogue and and the emotions that uh, women go through when they are confronted by a boss or are sexually harassed by a boss, and it was it was, it was very challenging. <clears throat> uh, and then the fourth one that I didn't write, but I produced, uh, uh, was called Vincent. Uh, uh, and uh, we decided to do this play because uh, it's it's a one-person act. Uh, 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 I mean, one-person play. <clears throat> and uh, my son was the main character. He plays uh, Theo, uh, which is Vincent's brother. And this play is about Theo, who talks about Vincent, <clears throat> his brother, <clears throat> on the last couple months of his life. And uh, it's a multimedia presentation where we where we show uh, Vincent's uh, 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 paintings, <clears throat> and uh, and we and uh, uh, Theo talks about the uh, trauma that Vincent has uh, had to go through his life in terms of uh, of, of um, being a creative person. <clears throat> but many of the issues that that we dealt with in Vincent uh, again were. Uh, issues that uh, dealt with uh, in our in our own communities, uh, 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 drugs and uh, uh, mental health again, uh, uh, health issues, uh, 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 and uh, and uh, we did this particular play uh, in an art studio. We, we didn't want to do it in a traditional theater because uh, the play was about Vincent. We wanted to be creative and do something different, and we were able to do it in an art studio where we where we had real live current art. Uh, and then uh, we cleared out the floor and made a stage and took part in the lighting and presented the play Vincent in an art studio, uh, which was a, a very unusual uh, approach for, uh, for, for theater. Uh, but again, it was, it was, uh, uh, it was, uh, uh, got very good reviews and uh, uh, folks really enjoyed it. 
uh, and it added a different layer to my particular uh, image in terms of uh, producing and, and uh, uh, place uh, because we were able to show that we not only continue to do our own place, but we have the ability to bring in a, a, a play that uh, uh, <clears throat> was not one of our originals, but it allowed us to reach a different audience. And again, like I talked about, we always wanted to bring in a different a different type of audience, young people, uh, uh, African-American, Latinos, uh, uh, um, working class uh, 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 individuals to the theater, make them feel comfortable. We want them, we encourage them to come to the theater and see our plays because it's a play that that they can relate to <clears throat> and they see people that uh, that are, are are just like themselves uh uh in the in the uh and let me just step back in the last play we just did uh filthy laundry we have uh, uh, the main characters are uh, uh, a, a latina an african-american woman and a young white uh, teenager <clears throat> so uh it was very diverse uh, but all, but that those were the plays that i've that i've written and i've already started on a on a couple uh, uh, new ones and we'll have we'll have a uh, uh, a new play coming out soon. We, we don't let rest on our on our laurels here. We 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 uh, uh, a lot of theater groups kind of like recycle their 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 plays, <clears throat> especially if they're successful. We want to continue to create new plays to bring in new people, <clears throat> and we'll 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 be working on uh, and developing a, a new play coming out soon. And those and those are pretty much. Uh, uh, is uh, uh, as a summary of my plays. Thank you, David. Um, be, we're going to open the floor for uh, questions and comments from the audience. But uh, as we're looking for raised hands in the audience, David, tell us what it was like uh, coming up with the dialogue for mm -hmm. women in your filthy I want to say dirty laundry for some reason, but I think you said the title is filthy laundry. Yeah, we. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a real quick, we we originally wanted to do dirty laundry, but uh, that uh, there was already a play called Dirty Laundry, so we we really couldn't uh, 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 use that title. So that's why we uh, uh, we we settled with the filthy laundry, uh, but. Uh, the uh, uh you know uh, writing is uh, uh is uh, sometimes a very uh, uh lonely place to be to be because you have to uh, uh sit down and when you do the draft you you you're creating characters uh and uh, i had help like i said because i i could reflect back to the time uh at an, at an actual industrial linen facility where there were women working so uh uh I, I had some concept of, of who the characters were or how to develop them based on some of the women I, I, I saw working in, in, in the plant. And also uh, the dialogue uh, uh, because of uh, uh, some of the, um, uh, I was able to hear as I was walking around the plant what the women were talking about. Uh, uh, that's, that's what the primary uh, 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 um, uh, uh, focus was uh, sorting uh, linen and, and, and talking. So I was able to hear all this. And again, I was able to re reflect back on that. Uh, and, uh, but uh, I had to go uh, uh, very deep within my own, within my own mind and throw out a lot of my uh, 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 male, uh, 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 how I put it, uh, male way of thinking, uh, the, the male thought pattern, <clears throat> and especially when it came to uh, issues of, uh, for example, uh, 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 sexual abuse, uh, 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 and, uh, you know, what, what uh, you know, how, how would uh, a woman feel uh, if this happened to them? Uh, uh, what would they uh, uh, say and not say <clears throat> uh, to their uh, to their coworkers, uh, uh, and uh, how how deep and hurtful would would that be to to a woman? <clears throat> uh, and uh, uh, 
And I, you know, again, yeah, I, uh, I was able to pass it by uh, uh, a lot of uh, other people, particularly women, and say, look, at, this is what I, uh, what I'm writing about, and and this is uh, this is uh, the particular scene, <clears throat> and this is what I want to, uh, I'm trying to get across, and what I'm, what I want to say. So I got a lot of good feedback, and of course, when uh, 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 in a play you have what they call table readings. That's even before you, you, you get into production, you have table readings with actors. And uh, <clears throat> uh, I needed to get validation that uh, my dialogue was, uh, was sincere and that my dialogue was, uh, uh, was uh, uh, something that, uh, that uh, uh, women would actually uh, express. <clears throat> and uh, uh, in the table readings, uh, of course, the, the, the characters were, were the women. and. Uh, and they 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 thought the dialogue was real. They felt it was real, and uh, uh, but it took it took uh, uh, it took a lot of work <clears throat> because these are three different women, three different backgrounds, <clears throat> and uh, of course each of the scenes are very different. And I've also had to write uh, uh, the dialogue for the boss, who was very uh, uh, um, sexist and racist, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, and that in itself took a uh, uh, some adjusting too in terms of uh, creating a dialogue that uh, did make him look cartoonish, but made him a real person, believing in his uh, particular uh, beliefs. <clears throat> uh, and uh, again, how do these women adjust to that, and what would they, uh, how would they would they respond <clears throat> in in a in a in a real setting? <clears throat> uh, but uh, again, to answer your question, it, it 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 was setting down and really just going deep and rejecting a lot of my own ideas. In terms of 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 of, 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 of being a male in, in in our society. Thank you, David. Sounds fascinating. Let's take a couple of, of uh, comments and questions from the participants. Rosanna, we've opened the mic on our end. Click the. There you are. Yes. Hi. Hi, David. Yeah, I've, I have a comment and a question. Uh, I've been able to, you know, I've been really lucky to be able to see have seen four of. David's plays. And I think that um, the real examples of how the Communist Plus is injected into these storylines um, and, and impactful that can, they can be, they can take you into what it's like, you know, uh, the, what, what is the experience? Um, this last one with Filthy Laundry, uh, Filthy Laundry was, I thought, very exceptional in the sense that it talked about it showed you the process of organizing as well the women you know there was a woman there that was very reluctant and you know try to not not move not shake you know not what i have to give the tendons but you know not make any sudden moves or anything like that stir anything up and and in the end she was the one who was really organizing and but it shows you the process of that uh, and uh, um, I think it was, yeah, like I said, it's a really good example of making the communist plus in a very artistic way, uh, cultural way. Um, I do have one question in terms of, are any of these plays being recorded for like YouTube or for future production, things like that? Because I think they're very valuable. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Rosanna. Um... My question is as well, uh, David, are, is it possible to show your plays uh, nationally as maybe even a front fundraiser? Um, but thank you, Rosanna. Go on, David. Well, uh, it, uh, the, the question is, is yes and, and no in terms of the recordings. Uh, 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 as, uh, 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 you may you may uh, not know that uh, this last play was uh, we were under a uh, a, a, a union contract uh, uh, and it was uh, 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 and under the contract uh, uh, you can uh, uh, you 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 can't uh, uh, record and uh, uh, use it for uh, 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 for 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 outreach because the actors are, are under a particular contract. So that makes it difficult in terms of re, uh, of recording the actual plays and, and the rehearsals. Uh, 
Uh, on the other hand, uh, some of the plays that we we we, we have done uh, <clears throat> were more community based, and uh, uh, we could uh, we could do the recordings of those particular plays. But uh, <clears throat> we haven't uh, uh, to answer your question directly. We haven't uh, uh, done the recordings. Uh, that's another layer <clears throat> upon uh, our production that uh, that we just uh, just haven't had the. Uh, the uh, uh, ability to, to do, uh, we would have to uh, uh, bring in someone to actually do the uh, the particular uh, uh, recording or video taping of the play, uh, or we if, we if we set up a special uh, session, we'd have to uh, uh, again bring in someone to come in and do that. Uh, uh, so again, it. Uh, 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 it, it's difficult if it's uh, under a union contract uh, uh, to have re a recording. And uh, uh, I, I'm proud to say that the Filthy Laundry, uh, uh, you know, we did, uh, it was a, a, a union scale play and uh, we uh, uh, we did have uh, 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 actors who were under uh, the, the uh, uh, actor's equity contract. <clears throat> and uh, uh, so that made it difficult. Uh, uh, um, you know, we we have been in, in discussions about you know how do we uh, 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 promote the play uh, 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 in other areas. Uh, it, uh, it 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 does it does take quite a bit of work to produce a play. I mean, it's not something where you just kind of uh, uh, um, show up uh, someplace and uh, and. Uh, um, you know, you put you uh, put on the play. Uh, uh, first of all, you uh, you always want to have a, 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 a quality uh, uh, production, <clears throat> and uh, uh, in order to, to do that, you need to spend uh, money and time to, to put something to put something out. <clears throat> uh, uh, so it uh, it's it's uh, uh, it's something that we're working on. It's uh, 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 something that we, we want to do, and uh, and hopefully we can, uh, we'll be able to do it, do it in the future. But uh, for the last uh, uh, three or four plays, we haven't been able to, to do it. We we do have clips and uh, and pictures and stuff like that, and uh, but uh, uh, the full length uh, videotaping of a play just just hasn't occurred yet. Okay, uh, we're looking for raised hands from uh, participants. If you have a question or comment, and uh, after we take all of the questions and comments, we'll then hear David read uh, some of his uh, selections. Stephanie, your mic is open on our end. Thank you so much for speaking. I just wanted to know um, two questions. What's your pro what was your initial process? Um, by which you gave yourself permission to show your work, to speak. And how did you do that? Like, what was what were your thought processes, processes that said, yes, I'm going to write, I'm going to put this out there, I'm going, you know, I have something that must be said. Um, so I'm very curious about that. Um, because even though I'm, I've joined this writer's group, I, I only write academically and I'm terrified of doing something else. And then secondly, even though I have a lot to say, um, secondly, um, what's your regime, your like your daily or weekly or, you know, whatever your schedule is so that you actually get word on paper or, you know, words on screen? I'm just really curious about that discipline process that you may have. And I'll mute myself and listen. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. Go on, David. Yeah, that's the um, the first question is is is, is very interesting. It 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 involves again, uh, you know, um, um, uh, what uh, you know, uh, what what really pushed me to uh, 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 do this type of creative work, and uh, um, and uh, uh, you know, how how did I uh, uh, how did it did it encourage me to to uh, to move forward with with my work um, the first play uh, I wrote again was was very personal in, in the sense that it was uh, an anti-war play <clears throat> and uh, I really felt strongly about this issue uh, 
Uh, I grew up in the time of the uh, of the Vietnam War. Uh, 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 I was uh, uh, drafted. My draft number was was uh, four. For those of you who who remember, they had the draft at that time, and uh, uh, you know, if your number was uh, 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 lower than a particular uh, uh, a number uh, you would were guaranteed to go to Vietnam. If it was above a certain number, you were you were free. But anyhow, <clears throat> so it was very personal for me, and I wanted to write something that that uh, that that uh, uh, dealt with the uh, uh, the horrors of war uh, on a family. Uh, 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 how does a mother feel when her her son is lost to war, or her daughter is is is, is uh, uh, harmed by war? Uh, um, uh, and uh, uh, trying to get people to understand the, uh, uh, you know, uh, what were the uh, uh, the reasons why we have war, <clears throat> uh, uh, you know, and uh, uh, so all those emotions were inside of me, <clears throat> and uh, uh, and I have net, and uh, this was when I first started started off. I, I had never I hadn't written uh, uh, anything that was so personal for me, <clears throat> and I sat down and. Uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 I had I had started this particular uh, uh, a play uh, uh, years before I actually did the first draft because uh, uh, it was something I was always thinking about. <clears throat> uh, but then again, when I when I found time to sit down uh, to write, <clears throat> I um, I. Uh, I decided that this is a, something that I want, and I wasn't thinking about any future plays. I wasn't thinking about writing, you know, two or three other plays. I was thinking about this particular play because it was personal for me, and the characters that I that I that I developed in this play were uh, uh, had a lot to say in terms of uh, of uh, the effects of war and uh, and the. Uh, um, uh, the reasons for war when uh, we go to war <clears throat> uh, so again it was very personal for me and and because of that i sat down and i was able to to create an entire play that i thought was important uh enough to get out <clears throat> to the to the public uh and uh um and it took it took me years to to, to develop it uh, uh but uh, uh uh i got it done and like I said, we 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 not only premiered here in LA, but also in Chicago. Uh, uh, and I was able to uh, to uh, add uh, some very original music to it, uh, uh, which added a different dimension uh, to the play. Uh, so that that got me that got me started in terms of uh, uh, wanting to share uh, uh, a message to people. Not in a preaching way, not not saying this is wrong, this is wrong, but in a way that I tell a story and let the public view it, and let the public sort of decide uh, uh, the right and wrongs of of, of, of what of what took place. <clears throat> uh, and uh, uh, so again, it, it was more of a, a very personal uh, uh, issue with me that got me started uh, 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 writing uh, the first play. And again, all my other uh, plays again uh, became very personal to me. Uh, I uh, I started thinking about my own my own background, my own working class background, my own family. Uh, 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 looking at uh, all the work that I have done had done, and uh, uh, and began to incorporate those issues and ideas into my writings. Uh, to your second question, is that also very very interesting? Because like I said, sometimes it's very lonely just sitting there and sort of. Uh, uh, Thinking of a character and the scenes and the dialogue, <clears throat> and uh, I, I have a small office. Uh, uh, my mother-in-law has an, uh, has a large house, uh, and I have a uh, an office in the back. It's a, a small unit, <clears throat> uh, and uh, I I go to that office every every almost every day. Uh, I do take some time off, but I I, I probably go to my office. Uh, 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 Monday through Friday, uh, and uh, I'll, um, I, I, I use it almost as as a work office. I go in there, I'll check my emails and uh, uh, and answer some e emails. I, I, I'll do my own personal uh, 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 communications, 
Then I sit down and uh, I'll either, uh, if I'm working on a current project, I'll sit down and I'll start reviewing that particular uh, 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 project. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, uh, I could spend maybe four or five hours in the morning just uh, 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 writing new, new dialogue, reviewing it, uh, 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 rewriting it, changing it, uh, uh, and uh, uh, and then uh, I, I may take a, a, a break uh, just to clear my mind, eat something. And in the afternoon, I'm, I'm, I'm back. I'm, I'm back and I'll, I'll sit down and uh, I'll, uh, I'll write, uh, uh, you know, uh, three more hours or so. Uh, uh, just uh, 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 getting, getting, getting my, my, uh, my, uh, <clears throat> my uh, words out. Uh, my, my dialogue out. Uh, the first time I write a dialogue, I might not like it. I might say, "Oh, this does this is sound real." It's just, it's 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 not uh, it's not uh, it's not someone talking to another person. It's someone just just talking. Uh, but it's constant, just reviewing. <clears throat> and as you're reviewing, of course, you're going to rewrite. So that takes a lot a, a lot of time. So I, I'm in the office uh, six seven hours a day, just just literally writing. Uh, uh, I'm at the point where I'm fortunate enough now where uh, I can uh, work on, on a new project <clears throat> uh, for a couple of days and I'll take some time off and then I can maybe work on, uh, uh, just to clear my mind, I can work on, on, on writing s some poetry uh, and uh, uh, I'll put those, I'll put that down on paper that that's very relaxing for me. <clears throat> uh, uh, because of a different type of, uh, of, 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 of writing in terms of, uh, uh, of um, a format. Uh, then I also have, I, I, I just been recently uh, got into writing a, a, a crime fiction, uh, uh, which is a, a, another uh, uh, way to sort of escape from reality uh, in terms of my plays and other writings. <clears throat> uh, and uh, that that allows me to uh, to spend time uh, 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 writing, uh, and uh, again that but that's also a process where you come in and I have to sit down and I'm usually writing for it's different than playwright I'm I'm writing about one particular character that uh, 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 and uh, and what he he goes through in terms of uh, his particular uh, life. <clears throat> uh, and uh, but I'll sit down uh, and do again three or four hours and uh, take some time off and come back in. But but I'm fortunate enough to have space where I can go to. I, I can write at the house, but there's a, there's a lot of inter in interruptions. Uh, for example, the birds chirping right now, a dog's barking, uh, whatever. <clears throat> there's there's a lot of different uh, uh, interruptions. But if I go to the office, I know that's where I go. That's where I sit down. That's where I do my writing, <clears throat> and uh, it's been so far. It's been very, very, very effective. But it's 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 just it's just uh, like it's just uh, uh, being disciplined. Uh, I don't I don't I don't uh, uh, do the uh, you know I have to write X amount of words per per day or whatever it is. <clears throat> I'm a, uh, uh, I'm more of, of of looking at my my current work or some past work and 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 continuing to update and continue to. Uh, uh, to ride along those uh, uh, lines in terms of uh, moving for my work forward. So I, I hope that answers your question. Thank you, David. Um, we have, uh, we'll take one more question from the audience. Um, uh, but before we do, uh, and then afterwards, we'll he hear David read some of his, uh, from some of his work. Uh, but before we do, David, what's the possibility of doing a live session of a table read of uh, of Filthy Laundry? For some reason, it sounds like we all need to see that immediately. Well, well, you, the, 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 uh, that, the, that, that's interesting because um, the, uh, there's there's a process that takes place in um, in in in. Uh, and the whole theater creative uh, uh, um, area. Uh, uh, normally, what I do is uh, once the the play has uh, been uh, uh, developed, 
and it's gone through its process of of, uh, of of having individuals, selected individuals read it, having uh, again like to the table readings. Uh, it's everything's turned over to the director, uh, and I've been fortunate enough uh, uh, to have my my son, who's an actor uh, and a member of of, of, uh, of the Actors Equity, uh, and uh, he's directed my place. <clears throat> but once it's uh, I, I give it to the director. It's it's in his hands. He he's the one that 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 uh, again uh, 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 does the actual uh, production stage production. <clears throat> uh, so uh, I you know I'd have to uh, uh, and he's the one that does the auditions. He's the ones that sets up the uh, uh, who chooses the, uh, the 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 actors to to be in the play. <clears throat> uh, 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 so he would be the one that would have to uh, uh, set up a, a a table reading <clears throat> because he would he would know who to bring in and uh, uh, and uh, uh, and set that all up. <clears throat> I mean, I could I could I could do it, but uh, uh, it would be uh, uh, very difficult for for me because I don't have the uh, uh, those contacts in terms of the actors and stuff like that. But it's possible. Uh, I I just uh, I'll have to. Sit down and talk with the director to uh, 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 see what the uh, uh, what we what we can do with the table reading or um, or some other or some other way. But I I I I think it's an important question and uh, 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 and uh, I'll, I'll bring it up with the director to see how we can uh, uh, move move it forward. If we had foresight, how wonderful it would have been to have your your son here who we did not know is an actor and director. He, it would have been nice to meet him today as well, but you know, hindsight is 2020 vision, as they say. Let's take one more question from the participants, and then David, if you would please share some of your work by reading uh, with us, but we'll take the last question. Daniel, your mic is open on our end. Please open the mic on your end. Okay, you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Hi, uh, David. What is your last name, by the way? Uh, Trujillo. Trujillo. Okay. T R U K I L L O. Okay. Gracias. So uh, I'll look you up, David Trujillo. You've written some plays and uh, poesia, the uh, teatre. Anyways, so my son is a is a uh, union. Well, he's a campaign, a Democratic campaign director in Pasadena. I know he's done a lot of work with the uh, LA City uh, Union, the Teachers Union in Long yeah. Beach. I think he ran a uh, mayor's race in Long Beach recently. Richardson, mm -hmm. I think, named right. the mayor. Yeah. yeah. Um, so maybe you met him. He might have come to you one of your plays. He, he's partly, well, his mother is Mexican American from the uh, Midwest. He's mm -hmm. from the Midwest. Chicago area. Anyways, so now he lives in LA. So um, I'm just one, I'm kind of a writer. Um, I'm wondering, life goes on, you don't just sit at a desk and write. That's not your whole life. I mean, so where does a writer get his dialogue and all his action and all his conflict? He gets it outside of when he's not at the desk. He has to live growing up with parents. He has to go to high school, go to college, and live and with the wife maybe and kids. I mean, so how do you balance real life in quotes versus escribir in writing? I mean, there has to be some kind of balance or imbalance. You say mental health is a problem. You wrote about mental health. People go crazy. And they go, they think they're going to be a great writer and they don't live. They forget about living. So somebody has to live also besides the escribir, right? Mm -hmm. That's my question. Well, I, I, I agree with you. I mean, I, uh, um, I've had, uh, um, um, gee, um, 30 years or more in the labor movement, uh, 
Uh, I've experienced, I've been a, a shop steward. I've been a, a, an organizer. I've been a, a, a union representative. I've been a, 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 a political director for, uh, for, uh, for labor. Uh, so I've had a, a lot of experience and background in, uh, in the labor movement. Uh, uh, I retired with a pension from from labor, so uh, uh, you're right. I, I I have a lot of, uh, of knowledge and a lot of background uh, with issues that that, uh, that deal with with labor, <clears throat> and uh, I also uh, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I uh, I have a lot of experience with the uh, uh, community. Uh, uh, action. <clears throat> uh, uh, I've, um, you know, I participated in in many of the uh, community uh, issues and uh, uh, marches uh, that have taken place in Los Angeles over the years. Uh, 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 I came here in Los Angeles in 1970, and from 70 on and until until today, I, I continue to be active in uh, in, in, in community and labor issues. <clears throat> so. Uh, 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 so I have all that knowledge, all that information, all that background, and uh, uh, and uh, and and it's now I'm 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 just barely getting it out. I'm just barely getting uh, 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 what what I know uh, and creatively uh, turn it into either uh, uh, some writings or 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 play. And uh, 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 and you are you are right. I mean, uh, uh, you can't spend your entire uh, uh, life uh, in the office. Uh, uh, um, I do I do uh, I uh, I do continue to uh, get out and uh, 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 participate in uh, in uh, in community action, participate in in labor labor actions, strikes, and et cetera. Uh, uh, um, for example, I'll be going out uh, to one of the battleground uh, uh, states uh, uh, in October uh, uh, with labor. <clears throat> uh, so uh, I'll, I'll be doing that particular work, but I will also be uh, uh, very uh, observant and I'll also uh, 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 view uh, what's taking place and I'll also talk to people. Uh, uh, and uh, get that information. So I'm constantly getting information. I'm constantly observing, uh, and uh, uh, and I think that's also part of being uh, being being a writer, and particularly a playwright, is is uh, 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 looking at uh, individuals and 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 seeing what what is what is special or particular about this individual. Uh, uh, what is the uh, uh, what is the type of words they're expressing? Uh, you know, are they uh, are they from this country? Are they from another country? Are they from another section of the United States? Uh, so you're constantly observing, uh, and uh, uh, and again, as I as I uh, 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 meet people through my plays, I'm uh, again I'm meeting a whole new uh, 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 group of individuals. Uh, uh, I'm not I'm not entrenched in the uh, in the so-called theater world, I don't, you know, I don't go to these uh, award ceremonies. I don't go, I don't, uh, you know, I don't hang out with actors and directors and et cetera. <clears throat> uh, uh, but uh, uh, I do uh, uh, meet people who come to the plays and uh, and I talk to them and I get an understanding of what they like or what they didn't like and uh, uh, what their background is. So I'm constantly observing, constantly uh, 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 talking to to people, uh, 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 but a lot of my time is based in the office. Uh, but uh, you're, you're you're absolutely right. I mean, uh, uh, you got you have to continue to uh, uh, be active, which I am, <clears throat> uh, uh, with uh, uh, with the work that that surrounds you, and particularly uh, what is the most important uh, uh, work at the particular space and time, <clears throat> uh, and. Uh, and then also uh, be able to uh, generate uh, your thinking by bringing in all your past experiences uh, and uh, and moving it in a direction that that you want. It either it's going to be in a short uh, 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 
stanza of a play or or a, a one act play or a full length play uh or 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 a fiction writing book uh, uh but uh 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 i do uh, i do hope to uh, uh to meet your son if he's over in long beach where i think we're going to try to get out get out to the long beach playhouse uh maybe in march with uh with a uh, a play working with the Long Beach Playhouse Collaborative. <clears throat> we'll, we'll see if that happens. Uh, but uh, thank you for your for your question. All right, David, if you, we would, if we, if you would please uh, close us out with reading uh, some of your work, uh, we'd be much uh, appreciative. My pleasure. Um, this is uh, one that's, uh, been in several anthologies uh, and a book of poetry that I that I wrote. Uh, uh, it's called the Underbelly of America. Under a concrete bridge lies an independent space. Worried, weary, broken, broke, women abused, overused men, lost lives, chasing shadows. Challenging stories, a challenging life, homeless camps here and there, infested mid makeshift shelters, overcrowded sidewalk nest, living symbols of institutional failure, immense wealth against homeless mayhem, suppressing motivation, innovation, and personal growth, unnoticed unheard just a glance away the concrete roof of a freeway underpass too much grief and tension too much stress too much american nonsense the underbelly of america uh, and that was um, of course uh, um, about uh, the homeless that i've seen uh, 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 in my uh, uh, in my hometown of Los of Los Angeles, um, and then uh, here's one that I that I that I particularly like. Uh, this is called the uh, Pine Overcoat. Real trauma in the streets, a burden upon the block. Red lights. Sirens blasting, gunshots explode as if no one cares. Shameless mayhem with unidentified, unintentional mistakes, impractical justification, a community on edge. Witness to torture, hot winds create hot heat. It's always been that way. Cuff and stuff and hook and book, death in a pine coat, overcoat. I've told you so. I've seen it before. Violence every day, history repeated, history made, betrayal of tears, deportations here, century old forgiveness, praying for the victims, fixing nothing, a smoothing fix. Short tempers diffused by institutional, but by by constitutional, honest review. Really, this time, really, it's a fix. Uh, and of course, the pine overcoat is the uh, is, is is the coffin. <clears throat> and uh, uh, again, I, I I wrote that particular uh, uh, poem because of the. Uh, uh, Police violence and the police brutality that has taken place in uh, in in in, uh, in my community. Um, uh, then let's see. I'll read. Uh, here's a sh here's a short one that I'll that I'll read. Uh, it's a very uh, I I I particularly like this one because it's uh, just about observing. Uh, uh, something that takes place in uh, most backyards, at least in, in, in Southern California. And it's called uh, <clears throat> Two Hummingbirds. 
beating wings reflected in a clear isolated pond, honeysuckle, red and yellow, nectar induced salvation, hummingbirds kissing in sweet summer air, the swirl of fash flashing wings, unbelievably glory, self induced complex dance without hesitation, two hummingbirds, two hummingbirds, a magnificent sight, vibrant colors, imperial green, rose red, a diversity of plumage colors penetrates my eyes. Flowers of nature upon an unexpected springtime bloom. Sweet nectar, sweet nectar, a golden sunset feast, two hummingbirds in a delightful duet. Um, so those are uh, um, just a, a, a couple of my poems uh, that are in different anthologies and uh, in a book of poems that I that I've written and uh, and I do have for uh, I must say I I did write a um, uh, 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 a crime fiction novel uh, the wording will probably be backwards on the screen but it's called Bullet On uh, and it's uh, uh, about a a, 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 a hitman who's a uh, 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 a labor representative and uses his uh, uh, labor contacts uh, 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 working in the the prisons as as his, uh, as uh, where he gets his assignments. <clears throat> uh, uh, but uh, again, uh, you know, thank everyone for for being here. I hope I I enlightened a few people uh, and, and shared some uh, some insights. And uh, uh, and uh, please stay tuned for uh, the next. Uh, um, uh, book or plays that uh, I hope to be bringing out soon. Thank you, Mr. David Trujillo. Thank you very much. What a wonderful activity this morning. So good day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for for participating, and have a good day. Thank Thanks you, David. Bye bye. Bye bye.